Hey everybody, I hope uh, you're having a great day and I uh, hope you had a good weekend over Easter. And uh, I just wanted to share with you in this devotion uh, today just uh, what's uh, what I've been thinking about when kind of dwelling over this, uh, with this quarantine. We uh, we all have more time to be at home and, and uh, you know, kind of be bored in a sense. And uh, I, think this, I think it's allowing myself and a lot of other people too in the church uh, this time to, to hear the Spirit. And giving us more time to, to read our, our scriptures and, and just be able to just to dwell on it longer uh, with this uh, forced quarantine that uh, it's taken a lot of things that uh, I would usually put in my day and could uh, just you know consume the day. And then at the end of the day, you just I don't have uh, the time that I should be giving uh, to this time with the Lord. And so I'm just thankful for that for this uh, time that we do have that it's given me uh, no excuses anymore. To, uh, to spend the time I, I need to uh, with God and, and listening to listen to Him, listen to His voice uh, through His Word and, and through prayer. And so, uh, the verse that it, um, it just uh, I want to share is Romans eight thirty two, and it says, "He who did not spare His own Son, but delivered Him over for us all, how will He not also with Him freely give us all things?" Especially with this weekend and Easter. Just thinking about the love that our God has for us, and that that plan of redemption, that new creation that uh, He has um, brought for us because of Christ. And you know, we look back at the garden when Adam failed, and uh, sin was brought into life, and uh, God, God's wrath that uh, God there, right at the the curses of the, the serpent, He gives the first um, hint of a redemption. And we go through the Old Testament, we see with all the different covenants, uh, you know, the new creation. Um, prophesized and that the son was coming to be the ultimate um, sacrifice for our payments that we we can't uh, we can't pay and and I think this time over the, over the weekend I had more time just to kind of think about Easter and think about uh, just how how much of a, a price and how much love uh, you know we have from our God uh, that you know Jesus came down and and did what he did for us to come dying on the cross paying everyone's um, price of their sin and just the love and the value he he has in us, and uh, just uh, just to think about a Lord that, like it says in the verse, who did not even spare his own son, but delivered him over to us. You know, what else won't will he not give us that we need? And so, if, if God's willing to come down and die for us, and that's not a small thing, um, will he not take care of us in in our most dire time? <clears throat> we can think of times like this in this quarantine that. You know, there's going to be issues, um, you know, job losses and income and maybe food. Um, but he will take care of us. He hasn't forsaken us. And, you know, for him, even in Matthew 6 and 25, talks about, you know, you know, God feeds the birds. They don't gather anything. But how much more valuable are we than them? And so we see how much he's put into us and how much he's already taken care of us. And so uh, just... Uh, just want to share that with you guys and even time just to sit and dwell on, on how much our Lord has um, put into us, how much he's paid for us. We know we've been bought with a high price and, and knowing that our God isn't just going to leave us to the to the wolves, so to say, and, and let us fend for ourselves, but he's going to take care of us. And it may look different you know, after this. Things may be different than what we're used to, but the Lord isn't going to abandon us. And for us to just to you know give the, the proper weight to what he's done and to you know and for us to just keep our eyes on him and keep trusting that he will and uh, he promised that and he will give us um, the, the peace and comfort that uh, that we need and the and the proper protection and so for this time I know it's you know I think it's week five now and um, some things might be you know coming that uh, you know we, we can't control but uh, I think we just think you know what the most important things we looked after, God's paid our price, and you know His grace is sufficient. And so whatever else happens, uh, God's beside us. And I think we just need to, you know, just dwell on the, His Word and, and uh, spend that time with Him, and really, really get to know our Lord and, and understand that you know whatever we go through, He's walking side by side with us. So that's my kind of two cents. So uh, I hope that made made some kind of sense as well. But uh, yeah, I just think this time that in quarantine, I know there's a lot of uh, a lot of frustrations, but I see a lot of blessings too from this. And I think for us to look at the blessings and uh, just to look how you know how God is carrying us through this, how He's looking after us, how is the body doing for one another, and.
And so know that, you know, he's in control and uh, he will take care of the people that he, you know, he loves so much and paid such a high price for. So, so I hope everybody has a good week and uh, we're, yeah, we'll see you again.